In the early 19th century, a forgotten conflict unfolded in the wilderness of the northeastern United States. It was a clash born out of territorial disputes, cultural tensions, and conflicting visions of the future. This is the untold story of the Aroostook War of 1839. The Aroostook War, also known as the Bloodless War, took place in the Aroostook River Valley. a remote and disputed area between the British colony of New Brunswick and the state of Maine. Both sides claimed the land, but tensions had been simmering for years. The conflict arose from conflicting interpretations of the 1783 Treaty of Paris, which was meant to define the boundary between the United States and British North America. As settlers from both sides moved into the Aroostook region, their interests clashed, leading to a powder keg waiting to explode. The vague language within the document became a source of contention and disagreement. The treaty stated that the boundary line would run through the highlands from the northwesternmost point of Nova Scotia to the headwaters of the Connecticut River. However, it failed to provide a clear definition of what constituted the highlands, leading to conflicting interpretations. The American argument was based on the belief that the highlands referred to the watershed divide, where rivers and streams flow in different directions, establishing a boundary favoring their claims to the Aroostook region. On the other hand, the British argument focused on a different interpretation, claiming that the highlands referred to the height of land or the highest points in the region, which favored their claims to the same disputed territory. With both sides strongly asserting their claims based on differing interpretations of the Treaty of Paris, tensions escalated, and the Aroostook region became a hotbed of competing interests and aspirations. In 1838, tensions reached a boiling point when a group of Canadian loggers, backed by British officials, began cutting down trees in the disputed territory. The American settlers, feeling threatened, organized militias and demanded the loggers withdraw. What followed was a series of escalating incidents. Skirmishes erupted and each side reinforced their positions. The United States sent troops to protect their settlers, while the British sent soldiers to defend their interests in the region. For months, the Aroostook River Valley became a tense frontier. Despite the escalating tensions, however, both sides managed to avoid full-scale warfare. The conflict earned its name, the Bloodless War, because no lives were lost during the confrontations. Within the tumultuous era of the Aroostook War, one particular incident stands out in infamy, the Holton Barroom Incident. It unfolded within the walls of a rustic bar, where tensions between American and British supporters reached a boiling point. On that fateful night, Tempers flared as fiery words turned into physical altercations. The air thick with hostility, the Holton Barroom became a microcosm of the larger conflict unfolding in the Aroostook River Valley. The incident escalated quickly, with punches thrown and furniture overturned. It became a stark reminder of the raw emotions and deep-seated animosity that permeated the region during those tense times. Though the Holton Barroom incident did not ignite a full-blown battle, it served as a poignant reminder of the volatility that hung in the air, where even the most ordinary of places could become battlegrounds for rival factions. In retrospect, the Holton Barroom incident serves as a haunting testament to the profound impact that the Aroostook War had on the daily lives and interactions of the people in the region. It encapsulates the human struggle and the deep-seated divisions that were prevalent during that tumultuous period. Amidst the standoff, Diplomats from the United States and Great Britain negotiated to resolve the boundary dispute peacefully. In 1842, the Webster-Ashburton Treaty was signed, settling the conflict and establishing the current boundary between Maine and New Brunswick. While the Aroostook War itself may have been relatively short-lived, it had significant implications. It highlighted the need for clearer boundary agreements between the United States and British North America. It also showcased the power of diplomacy in resolving conflicts without resorting to bloodshed. The Aroostook War may be a forgotten chapter in history, 
but its legacy lives on. Today, the region thrives as an important cross-border community, where people from both sides of the border work together, united by shared interests and mutual respect. While the memories of the Arustuk War may have faded over time, markers of the past remain, serving as reminders of the sacrifices made and the resilience shown. Historical sites and monuments pay tribute to those who navigated through this tumultuous period. Today, the Arustuk region embraces its multicultural heritage, with its residents cherishing their shared history. The war memories have become an integral part of the local identity, fostering a deeper appreciation for the peace and unity that prevails. As we reflect on the Arustuk War, let us remember the lessons it teaches us, the importance of diplomacy, the need for peaceful resolutions, and the power of collaboration to build stronger communities. The Arustuk War of 1839 reminds us that even in the face of conflict, there is always hope for a better future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories from the annals of time. Until next time, may peace be with you.